welcome to this special holiday edition of El Segundo Magazine. I'm Katherine Chen. We ring in the holiday season with a classic annual event that brings out the whole community. Jennifer Murillo takes us there. The holiday season is here and we're here on Main Street along with many residents to celebrate El Segundo's annual tree lighting ceremony. Oh. We love coming here, they have so much for the kids. The kids love riding the train, and of course getting kettle corn, and all the fun festive games. My daughter loves the arts and crafts, and taking a picture with Santa, and the toys, it's wonderful. I like to sit with Santa, I think that's fun. I really like the dog, and the little crown, and the doggy bag, and the doggy bed, and the little two things. It's really cute. <laughs> like the part where they light the tree. <laughs> This annual ceremony brings everyone together and helps kick off the rest of the holiday celebrations. I just like that all like the people come together and everything and they get to see all the tree get lit and everything and all the kids like to see Santa and everything. I like that uh, I get to stand in line and for Santa and see Barbie and getting presents from Santa. While many wait patiently for the moment with Jolly St. Nick, Others keep busy with various activities. We have a lot of different entertainment as well, community groups that come out and just get active in the neighborhood. We're very exciting for one of our most wonderful, colorful, fun events of the year, the lighting of the Christmas tree and getting to see Santa Claus. I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Remember to thank a veteran. Um, and remember all of our veterans who are overseas over the holidays and uh, a very happy and safe new year. I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas, a spectacular new year, and please remember our vets. Uh, that's why we have all the things that we have and why we go forward in life and really appreciate what we have today and I thank everyone for turning out. It's, what a town, huh? The time had come and all gathered near for the tree to be lit. Three, two, one! Oh, I liked how it splashed like that, snap. Oh, I love the tree lighting. It's just everything, the food, the fun, the games, but especially seeing Santa and Barbie. It's been a great evening here with Santa and Barbie. For El Segundo TV, I'm Jennifer Murillo. Visiting this famous cul-de-sac in El Segundo is a family tradition for many Southern Californians. All of the sights and sounds are sure to get you in the holiday spirit. Camelia Senamar has the story. It's that time of year again here in El Segundo where the streets close down and everything turns into a winter wonderland, or more affectionately known as Candy Cane Lane. Since 1954, this annual event has brought together so many families and kids out here on the streets. And of course, it would not be complete without a sighting from Santa Claus. work goes into decorating a house like this? Uh, it's a good amount of work, but nights like tonight is what makes it all worthwhile. You spend money on it, you spend time on it, but the residents of the block, for us, it's a labor of love. And, and in El Segundo, if you're from El Segundo like I am, there's nothing like Candy Cane Lane. It's safe to say this is the busiest day of the year for you guys then here? This, this day is busy. We knew it was going to be crowded on opening night, but whenever you know, every night it's great. Santa's here every night from 7 to 9 p.m. And uh, and we get it's crowded every night. You'll see about a thousand people. But tonight, I think there's probably 2,500, 3,000 people here at least. So it's pretty exciting. What inspired this setup behind us tonight? Um, you know, the great thing about Candy Cane Lane is a lot of the holiday displays that you see around in other cities, which are fantastic, are all light driven. These ones are really story driven because we block off the street and people walk up and look at it up close. So I want to think of something that meant something to me. I, I love sports and I love to golf. I spent a lot of my career in sports. So I created this, I was like, hey, what could you do? Snowflake Country Club, Candy Cane Lane Open. So I had some fun with that and kind of 
put Santa in kind of the tiger pose and, and uh, created a leaderboard that has some fun names on it. So it's, it's personal, but it's also something that I think people get. You know, I have some classic holiday characters from the misers that are on the roof and the misfit toys from Rudolph. So it's all stuff that I enjoyed when I was a kid and I turned into kind of reality here. with Rick who decorated this lovely home here. So Rick, how long did it take you to decorate all of this? Oh, it started a week before Thanksgiving and goes in phases, so off and on, working on it for about a month. <laughs> and how long have you lived here on this Siri Nelson Segundo? Since it restarted, when Candy Cane Lane restarted around 1986. Now, is there a contract when you buy a house on Acacia Avenue that you have to decorate it? Oh, you don't. When the, when originally, we did this, it was just a, a neighbor went down the street who lived here back in the old days when Candy Cane Lane was. And we all just said, okay, let's try it. The next year, it took off fairly good and it was nothing much. We did it and it kept building up to this point. So tell us about your experience here at Candy Cane Lane. It's pretty great. We come down every year and we walk the kids through to see the lights. And we take pictures and we compare them every year to see who's changed what decorations. I'm here with Callie. Callie, is this your first time here at the Candy Cane Lane? Yes, it is. And what did you like about all the houses here? Well, they're actually pretty beautiful, so I would like to live in one of them. Well, you, that means you have to decorate them too. Do you think you can do that? I hope so. Well, there's nothing quite like the lights and decorations here at Candy Cane Lane, and it sure gets everyone in the holiday spirit. For El Segundo TV, I'm Camelia Sotomar. Raytheon Space and Airborne Systems in El Segundo once again teamed up with the El Segundo Marine Corps Reserve to deliver more than 1,000 smiles to the Southland area. Robert Settle shows us more. It was another great year for the inspirational U.S. Marine Corps program Toys for Tots. Raytheon and its employees has been an annual contributor to this wonderful program for many years. Today we're, we're invited by Raytheon to receive these wonderful toys from, the, from their employees that actually donated to help the cause for Toys for Tots. And how best do you combine a high-tech company like Raytheon with the Toys for Tots program? Why with robots, of course. Over the past month, we've been collecting toys donations for the Toys for Tots program. Our employees have been coming and donating toys to various boxes that were located around our facility. Today, all those uh, toys were taken together, stacked here, and we have some of our local FIRST Robotics teams bringing their robots here to help transport the toys to the Marines. FIRST Robotics is a, a national program. It stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. The FIRST program um, takes, uh, this version of the program takes high school kids. They're given six weeks to build a robot to compete against other high schools in a national competition. So the robots that you see here today are from the 2014 year. Uh, they were designed to play a certain game and the uh, students have adapted the robots so that they can be used to move the toys out to the Marines. Raytheon uh, supports about 25 local FIRST Robotics teams in the area, both with sponsorship and with mentors, to help the students learn and be interested in science and technology. For El Segundo Magazine, I'm Robert Settle. Hanukkah, also known as the Festival of Lights, was recently celebrated right here at City Hall. Molly Perlman was there for the joyous occasion. We're here at City Hall on Main Street getting ready to celebrate the third night of Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah! The El Segundo community came together to celebrate the Festival of Lights. The festivities included eating donuts and traditional hot latkes, also known as potato pancakes. 
dreidel spinning, music, and dancing. Although the main attraction was lighting the menorah. It's wonderful. There's so much life and festivity here. It's always very exciting to light the menorah. Hanukkah has deep significance to a great portion of the world and there's a lot of messages to take from Hanukkah. Don't ever give up and keep believing. So no, it's a real honor to be involved here tonight. Playing dreidel and eating traditional oily foods celebrates the miracle that happened during the rededication of the second temple when a small vial of oil was only expected to last one day, lasted eight instead. This is the dreidel, nun, gimel, hay, and shin means a great miracle happened here. Rabbi David Lisbon shared several messages with the crowd, including how tonight is a celebration of freedom and that Hanukkah and lighting the menorah represents adding light to the world. Bring light into the world by mitzvot, by doing acts of goodness and kindness, helping another, doing things that share community as we had tonight. We had now it's the seventh year that we're celebrating this beautiful menorah here in El Segundo. Well, my favorite thing is basically spending time with each other and eating the chocolate coins. To me, it's the family tradition with all the children and the games and the lighting of the menorah and opening of the presents and the latkes and the traditional meal. Celebrating the holiday here at City Hall among family and friends was a special treat for many who attended. I like seeing Avery, my sister, and I like seeing all her friends. I got to dance and sing this song. Jada, 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 I made it out of clay, and when it's done, ready, oh Jada, I shall play. Good job! Tonight was fun. We got to dance with the kids. Whenever you're serving latkes and donuts, where could you go wrong? What really does it is the smiles on the faces of the children and the parents. It's just wonderful. Just, it's an awesome time of year. The Jewish Community Center of the South Bay hosted this event for the El Segundo community. There was a lot of dancing, eating, smiles and laughter. What better way is there to celebrate a holiday? For El Segundo TV, I'm Molly Perlman. Well, that's going to do it for this special holiday edition of El Segundo Magazine. Remember to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Just search El Segundo TV. I'm Katherine Chen, and we'll see you in the new year.